Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the opposite of what we went over the previous video, and that is how to attack the run commit glitch in Madden 22. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below on any questions you guys have, anything you guys would like to see on the channel. Also, follow me on all socials. Let's get right into it. How to attack the RP the I said the RPO glitch, the run commit glitch in madden 22 it's a glitch how do you how do you attack something where you are going to be getting blitzed if you're running the ball or max coverage if you're passing the ball well in madden 22 the coding is the reason why the rp <laughs> the run commit glitch actually works and the way that you combat that is an rpo you're not running an rpo glitch you're just running an rpo and you're going to be able to run the ball non-stop against anyone who is rpo glitching you or run commit glitching you i cannot get the rpo glitch out of my head so let's go ahead and call this cover four show two and on the offensive side of the ball we're going to show the stretch alert looky you know what let's 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 do it this way we're going to show the stretch out of the same exact formation single back wing tight z so we got a stretch and we're gonna run commit. We're gonna run the we're gonna run the run commit glitch here. So we're running the run commit glitch. And as you can see, they run commit. That is something that we want to get rid of. And the way that you do that is with an RPO. So let's run that one more time just to showcase it. Boom. They're setting up their defense. Everything is max protected. It's very, very annoying. And as you can see. They run commit, you have nowhere to go. Every, every hole is clogged up and there's nothing to do there. So let's call timeout. And that, now we're gonna enter an RPO. It doesn't matter which RPO it is that you guys run, but we're gonna go into the RPO and we're gonna call, call it out of single back wing tight U. Same exact play. And we're gonna run commit here, okay? So we're run committing here but we're running the RPO stretch instead of just running a regular stretch. And this is the result. You're going to be able to get a lot of yards against anyone who thinks that they're that they're going to be able to run commit glitch you at any point in time. So we're going to run commit one more time. And as you can see, the run commit just doesn't work. And you're going to end up getting a lot of yards with any RPO stretch in the game. I believe I dropped a a stretch out of the single back bunch tight end that you can actually flip because most of these rpo runs you're not going to be allowed to flip them and they're going to be extremely frustrating knowing exactly where you're running it's going to be frustrating for anybody to know exactly which side it is that you're running that's why having a halfback dive alert or having a power o alert is gonna is gonna help you guys out tremendously as well so again let's run this one more time so we, we're only blitzing the three people. We're running this one more time. But since we're running the RPO, it's not going to work, okay? Some people some people think that, you know, you, I, there's really no way for me to show you, showcase that I'm only run committing. But pr I promise you, I am run committing. I'm running the run commit glitch. It just does not work against RPOs because the coding in EA system is absolutely broken but i mean could we blame them it's ea now another thing that i would like to showcase is this also works out of shotgun formations as well so i'm gonna go ahead and call this rpo alert wide receiver screen out of gun tray and we're gonna do the same thing we're sending those three people and we're gonna i'm gonna call a regular inside zone first i'm run committing right now I'm calling a regular inside zone, as you can see. I mean, I managed to break out, break out of there for a touchdown, but we did get a run commit. And that's obviously something that if if you're facing a better user, um, it's not gonna work. But as you can see, everybody starts running down. The safeties are the safeties are chasing the running back. Like they're they're just they just pressure straight down because of the run commit glitch. The way you combat that is an RPO. So there's a lot of shotgun RPOs in Madden 22, and if they're running something like this, you are gonna be able to, you are gonna be able to, uh, you are gonna be able to combat that with something like this. Now, I'm, I might not even get a touchdown in, in this situation, but you will get 
consistent consistent yards in madden 22 by just by just being patient and instead of running any type of regular run plays start running your rpos because if you guys watch the video where i showcase the rpos it for some reason the coding that he implemented in the game in every single rpo play i'm even going to come out in regular three four in a, in a regular three formation three four formation excuse me and i'm going to run commit from the three four formation and i'm going to showcase something to you guys that is uh that a lot of people don't know when it comes to these rpo runs or these rpo passes or whatever the case may be the coding in ea's coding if you don't send as many people these guys are all going to play coverage first against an rpo you see how every single one of these guys are backing up all of them they're all backing up until i actually have the ball then e then the ai sees it and all of a sudden they all want to attack the they all they, they all want to attack the running back if this linebacker is going all the way out this this linebacker is going to play his purple this corner this safety this safety this corner it, they, they're all doing the same thing the only person that's not is this guy because this was actually the user or else he'd be going back to play the curl flat as well that is what the rpos do in this game they are absolutely broken and ea has no idea how to code a game properly so that's why you start running your rpos proudly now let's switch that Let's switch that back to another stretch so I can showcase exactly what I mean by this. We're going to go to a stretch. Oh, where the, where, where's the stretch at? Outside handoff, wing tight Z instead of the wing tight U. Same exact situation. This time we're not, we're not even going to run commit. We're just going to let the we're just going to let the defense play play out like the defense should. And you you're going to see a big difference. I did not run commit there. That is just how the run fits work in Madden 22. If you're running, the the defense sees it as a run. Okay, so you see how the last play, this guy went backwards a little bit. This guy went backwards. The safeties went backwards. The only people that are going to go backwards in this situation and not play towards the run are the cornerbacks. And there's a, there's a simple reason for that. But as you can see, all these guys, they went straight for the running back instead of instead of di like backing up and waiting for a pass the reasoning for that is because they're in the run fits all those guys are in the run fits as you can see this is how you tell how the run fits are you hold l2 and then you press square or square or o or if you guys are on xbox x or b but as you can see these guys are all in the run fits so when you when you automatically are running an rpo they don't register as that they register they register a pass and that's why they all start playing their zones and it gets real real spooky out there if you're facing a very good runner because they're going to be running rpos that you can flip and it gets it gets real scary out there that is it for the run now the thing about the passing in madden 22 is if they're running the rp the the run commit glitch rpos are gonna work if you guys are running but from time to time you are gonna deal with somebody who is smart and they're only running the rpos if it's a if it's a short yardage situation um if it's a first down or anything of that you know if, of that type of uh situation so how do you beat somebody who's not well if they're running the if they're running the run commit glitch they're they're gonna be they're gonna allow some type of route bounce and this is where you start to set up coverage beaters on first and second down. If you got somebody who's nonstop sending just three people, you know he's run commit glitching. And when that happens, you sit there yourself and make sure that you are putting out some form of a coverage beater out there to make sure that you're not the one that's actually getting got when it comes to this specific formation. So right now we're, we're going to put these guys in all spot. Actually, I don't even need to put them in spies for this because I know for a fact that they're not going to get a crazy, crazy, a crazy, crazy shed because we're run committing on the defensive side. So we're run committing and the pressure is almost non-existent. Like we don't really have to do much. We just have to make sure that we get enough time in the pocket and enough spacing on our coverage beater to absolutely go, go crazy. Yes, that is a coverage beater. 
um one that you can run with tom brady i don't know what formation this is but you will be able to run this against uh anybody who's running the run commit glitch so if they're only sending the three people you guys better be running something like this so again not even aaron donald is getting any type of pressure and boom mike evans going absolutely crazy over the top for a big big touchdown so again if you guys are facing anybody who's run commit glitching what are we going to run rpo stretches rpo dives rpo power o's it does it doesn't only it doesn't only work on with our with uh stretches it works with dives it works with uh counters it works with anything that is an rpo because the coding and ea system looks at that as a pass that's why they don't run commit against those and then if you guys are looking to pass against someone who's run commit glitching, make sure you guys are sending out your furthest corner routes and your deepest beaters because you're, you're, you're going to have enough time and enough space to sit there and wait for some of those routes to come back. Now, if I send last thing before I end the video, if I send all these guys out on streaks, everybody's going out on a streak and you're and you're going to sit there and wait for something to break open. Wait for one of them to turn around. And then you're going to be able to make it through. Oh, I actually passed it to the wrong person, but they went literally way too far. A lot of the times they'll sit there 20, 30 yards up and then they'll start coming back. Let's actually run that one more time. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't look like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to put these guys on crossers, put these guys on that, put this guy on a wheel. Yeah. That's just, you know, make it look, make it look fancy while we're sending the run commit glitch. And again, you're going to you're going to have enough time in the pocket to wait for a route bounce to go crazy. And boom, simple. Hey, you know, there's just so many different options that you guys have in the pass and run game. Do not look at the run commit glitch as an end all be all defense because it's not. But it, it is frustrating to deal with on first and second down when you don't have that option. So hopefully this video helps you guys destroy the run commit glitch my name is pony montana if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comment section below subscribe if you're new and as always two fingers deuces and peace out you guys